new day. Woke up and uh, realized that the zoo was like a half day thing and we're doing the night zoo so we're going to do the zoo in the afternoon so we can go to the night zoo straight away or pretty close to it. So we decided to spend the morning or what's left of it at the Botanic Gardens. Um, yeah just walking around it's really pretty. We saw some squirrels before and apparently there are meant to be otters here so I'm going to look for some otters and I'm uh, going to look at some cool flowers. but it is lunch time so we're just going to have a quick bite to eat before we go in. Uh, we should have like five hours in the zoo which uh, should be well plenty. And then we've got some rainforest lumina which is like some sort of special performance display thing, I don't know. And then uh, the night safari which should be pretty exciting, I've heard a really good thing about it. So I'm going to check out the food and then uh, head inside. Of course this friend is not a seems like really cool because there's not really like enclosures or we can't see them at least but uh yeah they're just sort of everywhere cool
entrance. And then so far we've come up here. And we're currently like here. So we still have like all this other part to do. It's a really big zoo. Stopped off for a toilet break. Really cool zoo. But it's the only toilet I've been in that has like a waterfall running through it. So I thought that was pretty cool. Um, we've got no idea where we are, but it's a really big zoo, so uh, there's lots of walking.
Well, we're pretty much just finished at the zoo. Um, we got uh, Rainforest Lumina, which is like a nightish twilight zoo thing that they put on. I'm not sure what it is, but we got tickets for that, so we're going to go. And then uh, that's in about 7:30, so an hour and a half. And then later on, we got the night zoo or night safari, which is at like nine or something, uh, which is like three minutes walk from here. Also picked up these handy dandy little fans. Um, eight bucks. They might be a lifesaver, especially if we've got essentially two weeks here left. Um, so, yeah, we're going to hang out where we got lunch uh, just outside in the atrium area and uh, probably just hang around. Nice. Well, uh, I am gonna put the camera away because obviously it is the night zoo and uh, we cannot see anything. Yeah. We've been here for like a couple of hours and we're still only halfway through and we haven't even done the uh, the tram ride yet. So like I said we're about halfway through um, but it's actually really surreal uh, to be at a zoo at 10, 15 at night time. Um, it's kind of really strange. Uh, it's so peaceful. A lot more kids here than I was expecting like there's so many kids and it's like nearly midnight. Um, it's really awesome. You get to see so many animals that actually aren't in, well, you wouldn't see them in a the zoo because they're nocturnal. Um, oh, my phone died in, not my phone, my camera died in the flying fox uh, place, trying to get a baby with fox that was about 30 centimeters away from us. Don't think you can see it, it's too dark. Um, so I'm on my camera, uh, on my phone now, and 
window. We're going to try and make our way back up to the top and try and get on the tram, which will take us around the whole uh, park and some more bigger animals. When you feel it's hopeless, when you think that you lost, oh, I will take your hand and we'll rise up from the dust. McDonald's. I've never seen a McDonald's Lissler. Also, we're walking home because the taxis were taking like two hours. We all have our reasons why we are on this track. Oh, we all have. Well, uh, we just made it home, and boy, it was a long day. I am so sick of just tourists, not even any kind, but they just stand in the way. Um, on the night safari tour, they were talking the entire time. We had a kid right behind us who was screaming to his mum who was sitting, or who was on his lap. The kid was sitting on the mum's lap and it was just, just screaming the whole time and the mum did nothing. Um, but the night safari was actually really cool and the tram ride was awesome. It was just uh, who we were sitting next to, unfortunately. And it's not just the kids, like the whole, everyone was talking. Um, but we got home, um, taxis here are really, really cheap. Uh, problem is you can't actually get one because they're just so hard to get, especially in all the tourist destinations for some reason. Um, don't know what that's about. Tomorrow is New Year's, uh, so we're gonna sleep in a little bit and head down to the harbour for, uh, for midnight. To all my, uh, friends and family back in Australia, you'll have New Year's before us, so, uh, Happy New Year and, um, see you tomorrow.